This tutorial explains scenario one of how to set up the Ethernet connection and IP parameters to use the amplifier's web interface. Also refer to our checklist at kistler.com and the Quick Start installation manual. First, remove the protection cap and then connect the Ethernet cable. The amplifier is IP65 protected. We recommend a cable of at least the same protection class. Here we define three main scenarios to establish communication between your amplifier and computer. The first, you want to access just one amplifier and connect it directly to your computer. The second, you want to use one or several amplifiers by connecting them to a corporate Ethernet network for simultaneous monitoring of several sensors from a control room. The third, you want to use several amplifiers as a small local network which is especially useful in onboard applications. In Scenario 1, you establish a direct connection to your computer. To make it work, you will have to adapt the computer's IP address. But first, turn to the amplifier. Unless it's new and amplifier's parameters have usually been modified, you must reset it to the factory settings. To this end, remove the power signal output cable to turn it off. Press the upward arrow and reconnect the power lead. Keep the arrow button pressed until the status LED flashes three times. Then release. The amplifier is now reset. Back to the computer. Make sure only the network port dedicated to the amplifier is active. Then connect the Ethernet cable to your PC. Now you can attribute a temporary IP address to the computer. We use Windows 7, but the principle is the same for other operating systems. Open your network properties and choose Ethernet Protocol version 4. Double-click to modify it. Then change to static IP connection. Our amplifiers have a standard IP address. It's 192.168.1.100. For your computer, you preferably choose almost the same address, but for the last three digits. Instead of 100, put 101. There's also a standard subnet mask. If it's not automatically set up, enter the address manually. Finally, open your web browser and enter the amplifier's standard IP address. Congratulations! Now you have access to your amplifier's web interface. This will allow you to benefit from a great variety of new features. For additional information, refer to the Quick Start Installation Manual and our checklist at kistler.com.